Well, hey, you guys. Welcome to this edition of My Creed Outdoors. Thanks for watching. Guys, today on this edition of My Creed Outdoors, I'm going to talk to you about some survival trapping. I'm going to show you how to set a lever snare and why I use the situation that I use to set it in. Uh, a little bit of trapping wisdom for people who don't know. I know there's lots of young folks out there who don't know. But, and for those people, guys, I'm going to do this little video right here to show you how to set a lever snare. Guys, here's one of the very good, a very good place to set yourself up a, a snare trap. As you can see, this is just a natural funnel, something that you haven't created, but the animal is already using. Coming down this creek bank right here, he come, they come right between these two trees, and this is a natural funnel. So if you can find one of those, your chances of catching something is a whole lot better than is something that you have created yourself. Because the animal coming down through here is just in his natural habitat, He's coming down his natural trail, so what you want to do is set it up to where he don't even stop here, that he just comes right through here and gets caught in your snare. Hey guys, here's what we're going to create here today. We're going to create a lifting pole snare. Lifting pole designed to pick up and strangle to death the target animal. That's all we got to do right there. All he's got to do is get caught in it. We'll put us a trigger right down here. And okay, you guys, here's what this thing looks like. You'll notice I've added some rocks right over here in the crotch of this tree to make this thing right here more smooth working. And if you've got those in the area, that's what you can do so that you can take any friction out of this particular setup. Here comes the rabbit hopping down the trail. He hops through the the snare, he gets caught. I've got some, what I call just a plain old stob stake trigger right here, and I'll just give you a close of it there just in a second. But when he goes through that thing and he pulls that thing loose, and I'll show you that just in a second, that's when we catch the rabbit and up he goes. In a survival situation, guys, you could use cordage, and that's what the Indians used all the time. They would use natural uh, plants to make natural cordage to make these strings with. I'm just using jute here as this demonstration right here. But here is our trigger, stob trigger, which let's see if I can get you close up of that trigger the way it looks. I know you guys have seen these. So I plant a stob notched trigger. Thing works excellent. Then we come up to the tree Here's some rocks, then there goes our lever, which outweighs the animal that we're targeting. See that? And what happens when he comes down the trail, he's going to put his neck through the noose and he's going to pull that trigger loose. And he's going to be hung. Well, there's no doubt about it, guys. This is one of the most effective traps that you can use in a, in a simple trail set situation. These things can be used to catch all, all different types of animals. That's, easy, that's really easy to set. It works really great, and it just strangles the animal to death. That way, the uh, foxes and stuff won't be hearing the thing struggling or squealing, or it won't cut your cord in two. That's just the way you do it. Hey guys, thanks for watching this video. I hope you learned something from it. Learn something, and guys, if you're ever in a survival situation, you'll know what to do. So get out there and try these things. Like I said before, try them. See if they really work. That way, when you're in a real survival situation, you won't have to guess about this stuff. You can go ahead and set them up. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.